one definition of creative is, yes, this result never existed before. So in one sense, in one meaning of the word creative, AI is certainly possible, um, capable of making results that never existed before. I'm Todd Macover. I'm a composer and a specialist in music technology. I'm a professor at the MIT Media Lab, and I'm also in charge of the academic program there. Generative AI technology is changing so fast right now. Of all the technology I've seen in my whole career, I've never seen anything change this fast. Almost every week, sometimes every day, there's a new model for something improves or a completely different model. If one goal of creativity is just to open your imagination to make something and to try something and to realize that something new can happen in the world and that you can be responsible for that. So obviously generative AI makes this really easy. You can say one word and something happens. So I think maybe nobody's afraid anymore to do something. But I think the real meaning of creative is that it has to have some meaning from a human being that cared about something to make a certain result. And AI doesn't care about anything. So I think the big difference between pure AI creativity and human creativity is that AI now and AI in the future has no motivation. It has no history. It doesn't care. So AI is capable of making something new that we never saw before. And this could be stimulating. It's interesting to see something new. Maybe it gives us some idea. But AI has no reason to prefer this or this. So the result may be new, but maybe it's not meaningful. Everything that we do as human beings has some meaning and has some importance. And when we create something, it's to share that and it's to find some way of sharing it so that the other person or the world can feel the impact. And real creativity is a way of finding a beautiful thing to express and exactly the right way to share it so that somebody else gets that feeling. So I'm teaching a course now at the MIT Media Lab called Cultivating Creativity. The central idea of that course, part of it is to understand theories of creativity, to try to understand how it works, to try to understand what conditions make it easiest for people to be creative, to open your mind, to have the time, to have space. But the real reason to do the course is to train my students to make creativity environments for other people. Because there's so many things about our own minds that we just are not aware of. And there are many things about the way we interact with other people that we're not aware of. So in this class, some of my students are building systems to make the creative process and the interaction between people something tangible and visible that we can learn from. So it's a course to understand creativity, but to make more creativity possible in the world. The big problem with all of the generative AI models now, and maybe forever, the problem is that they're all based on material that already exists that's put in some kind of database. And so everything that comes out is kind of a variation of something that already exists in the world. It's, it's not really new. So the big challenge, I think, for the future of generative AI is to make systems that are like collaboration systems, partners, where they make the entire product by themselves, but they go back and forth. They let me suggest some idea. So we try to make systems that are like a collaboration between AI and myself. This is very hard to do, but I think that's the future and most systems now are not designed like that. You know, in 50 years, I think AI systems, yes, They'll be collecting these huge databases and I'll be putting in three words and they'll make something. And, but I'm sure 
that these systems will evolve so that I can pick just a slightly different word and what comes out will not be the same as everyone else's. We'll have a period where everything sounds the same and we're all confused and we don't know who made it, but people will win <laughs> and we'll end up with systems that allow us to communicate and create and share what's really important to us. I'm sure of that.